Someone looks studious. Trying to figure out how many walls I need to knock down to give George a decent sized stall. Don't change a thing. I've got some very happy memories of that stable block. Oh, no. Well, I'm supposed to be calling the architects in half an hour. Architect? For a couple of horses? Can we just hand my brother a sledgehammer and see what he does best? Be kind, remember. He's not even here. You should have a chat with Katie about your plans. Oh. Invite her over for lunch. I don't think she'll fancy coming over after yesterday. She's going to demolish everything Katie set up anyway. Why bother when she managed fine with things as they are? Well, I want to put my stamp on it. And George needs his space anyway. Your dad's had his head turned. What, by Katie? Why don't you invite her up for lunch yourself? Hmm. Good thinking, son. Maybe I will. Well, I'll catch you in a bit. Well, I thought you counted it wasn't till later. Yeah, he's moved me up. Oh, OK. We didn't have any plans, did we? No. No. Oh. Well, I can't see this being my last session now. But you've worked really hard, Andy. One setback doesn't mean anything. I feel like I'm back to square one after the party. Walking away was the right thing to do. Yeah, but now all I could think about is how I ended up missing out. That's more annoying than Robert. I thought that we were forgetting about Robert. I'm trying to. It'd be a lot easier if you just did one, though. Well, he might do. He might get bored of it round here eventually. Can you ever see him, Robert getting bored of Chris's money? Or causing us hassle? Hmm. We we'll just have to get better at blocking him out, won't we? Yeah. Blocking him out. Thank you for your support, Brenda. <laughs> so, how do things look in the cold light of day? Well, I'm not even considering it, so... <sighs> Should I expect a showdown with your fiancé? Well, I haven't told him. We just want to stay away from Robert, OK? Well, help me, and that's exactly what will happen. How can I stay away and do what you want me to, huh? Have you seen this? <laughs> Have now. <laughs> Mild mannered church workers by day, vigilantes by night. <laughs> Isn't that just Neighbourhood Watch? Look, it's Ashley versus the Yours. Oh, tell everyone you know to join. Or he's probably going to end up in hospital. <laughs> we'll spread the word. It would be a small sacrifice for a lifetime of happiness. So how is me coming on to Robert going to make Andy happy? Starting over at your own place might. Hmm? Land as far as you can see. Robert, a distant memory. I've told you what I think. So please, please just leave me alone now. I apologise if I misread the situation. I won't mention it again. But the offer stands should you change your mind. Oh, he'll be there. He thought I handled it all right. What did I tell you? He said it's better to miss out than to do something I'd regret. So, does he want you back next week, or...? Well, he reckon I should trust myself to handle Robert. That I don't need any more sessions unless I want one. I'm still good. I had to leave the pie, though. Well, I've been thinking about what you were saying. About things being stuck how they are. If there was a way of changing stuff, would you do it? Changing what? Well, you know how Lawrence had a word with you? Yeah. Well, he had a word with me, too. I wasn't going to tell you, but it just didn't feel right, you're not knowing, so... What did he say? Well, he wants me to help prove to Chrissy that Robert's unfaithful. How? How do you think? 